Hi, my name is Abdel, I'm international fashion portrait photographer. Today we're going to go through the basics of shooting portraiture and fashion in the studio with the Fujifilm GFX 100 Mark II. Really cool. Maybe turn your eye. Yeah, that's it. Turn down a little bit. Nice. You can look that way too. Yeah, perfect. That was amazing. Really good. Really good. Firstly, when you're working with models, communication is key. Communication is key because you have a vision that a model can't see. So you have to communicate this to the model so you're both on the same page. Yeah, actually, turn as you are and then turn your head over shoulder. No, no, as in keep your shoulder. But here, like that. Perfect. Very nice. So, reason why, you know, I'm directing and changing face and everything else is to capture, trying to capture emotion. I'm also trying to put a structure into into the shot, whether it's shadows, also being the model as, as she is, she's got great eyes, so we're trying to show the eyes in the face, have it because it's they're quite piercing. So we're trying to get the detail in there and the shot because a lot of the time when you're doing portraiture is about the subject, you know, it's about the subject's face as well. And it's also not just the face, it's the features such as the eyes, nose, lips that we want to accentuate. So we direct them, have them moving around so we can show these, these features. Encouraging movement is another technique when working with models. It helps to keep things fluid, less stagnant, and keeps the energy high in the room. Uh, yeah, keep the eye, keep the eye in that direction. Yeah, and then like that, yeah, like that, as you're looking. Yeah, that's it. So what we're doing is we're doing movement a um, bit of hand movements, just to add a little bit of structure to, to the model, to the portraits. Music can be a great source of inspiration. If you have the ability to play music, then play music. Collectively, you can draw on the energy of the music and then translate that into the imagery. Nice. Oh, I love that with the hands. That is so cool. The close-up. Oh, yeah. I love that. Sometimes in a studio, you should tether to a laptop in order to show the client or the model what it is that you're shooting. But if, you're, if you don't have this, you don't have a laptop, I would encourage you to show the images straight off the camera. It allows the model or the clients to see what they're doing and how they can improve or how they can change their composition. That's, oh, oh like, that's actually Yeah, sick. Yeah, look, even that one, it's really cool now. <gasps> and this as well. <laughs> but it's, it's so interesting great. because you, like, you warmed <laughs> into it. You warmed into it. Yeah, it took a while, but you yeah, warmed in. Right. This is smooth. I'm gonna adjust the light a little bit. I love the shadows on your face because it gives you a bit of definition on a... I wish I could actually film the moments that you turn your eye because it looks so incredible. It's almost like a movie through the camera. I was like, and I'm like, oh, that's the show. It looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. Love it, love it. When shooting in a studio, try to keep things dynamic. Change angles, use props. You can use a step ladder, stool, or a hard case to get above the model. You can get low, don't be afraid to lay on the floor to get that shot. The important thing is to keep things creative and dynamic. Yes, perfect, love that. Cool, so we're doing different poses, trying to keep things a little bit dynamic. We're trying to add a little bit of structure into the pose. We're trying to make things a little bit more interesting, make it more creative, more artistic, because portraiture can also be quite bland sometimes. And the more flair you add to it, the more natural and the more exciting it looks. So we're playing around with, with that aspect of things. Wow, okay, cool, amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Composition, think about where your subject is in the frame, whether centered or off-centered. Look for leading lines or symmetry. Think about where the shadow falls in the frame. It looks, yeah, the symmetry, the lining is incredible, the way it looks. Balance is an important element, but you can also break the rules. Sometimes framing your subject in an unconventional way can bring more light to specific details. The key thing with composition is to keep your composition intentional. And it's a wrap that covers the basics of studio portrait photography. 
If you have any questions, do comment below. Do like and subscribe to the channel. And the next video will cover post-production and retouching. Thank you.